Okay, we're going to take you through the slow motion operation of the Aristocrat mechanism. Um, I made a clear plexiglass plate here to keep the cam uh, in its proper position so that I can test it and see what's going on. That's the, the hole for the cam is part of the top frame, and of course the top frame is not here right now. We're going to take this from, it's playing a record right now, imagine that, and when it gets to the end of the record, okay, it has now entered the trip stage. First thing that happens, the cam now is, is the gears are moving the main cam. And watch. Now you see the snail we put in now is moving. It would be right now, it would have just lifted the arm if I had the arm bar in place. The cam, the snail, is pushing the arm back. And there, now you're in reset. This little part back here, it is this bar, this bar here has dragged this pin that's part of the tone arm assembly. It has dragged that back to the reset position. So now the arm is out of the way. Now, as it continues to turn, watch the separators. They, they work very fast. Chunk, just like that. It's <laughs> so cool and so brutal. And now it's continuing the cycle. Now it's going to bring the arm back over to the play position. The separators are starting to retract, and the shelves are now back out again to keep records from dropping on top of the tone arm. And then we reset to the play position. Now we're in the play position. Now, what happens when there's, when there's no more records to play? That's, we go out of here. It's in trip now. It's going to pull the arm back. And then I've got to do something with my other hand here. This bar back here, this here is the, the uh, overarm that touches the size of the records up top is pulling this out like this to let this fall off the shelf right here. And I'll see if I caught it in time. Man, it's hard to keep this thing in focus now. Where is the... Let's see if I can get this down in here. I don't think I can. I think the, the camera can... There we go. Now... It has dropped in the rear, these gears, the gear assembly has flopped back, and you can see now the tower is recycling the records. It's lifting them to the top. That part's not in here, of course, because it's top part of the top frame. When it finishes doing that, what it does is it is a foot on the bottom of the recycling cam, or the recycling arms. There's a little foot that when it gets down there, it kicks a little lever down here. I don't know if I can. Sh it's right there. Um, yeah, right there. And it kicks this out like that. Doink. It shifts the gear assembly. That the, the shifts the gears frontwards again into the main cam, and then that lets the arm finish the cycle. It makes the separators just chunked again, and the arm comes out. Drops down to the record turntable, and we're in play. We're in the play position again, and that's how the aristocrat mechanism works. Best I can show it here. Uh, I have the top off of this the separators thing, both to show you how it worked. But the other thing was is these separators are loose, and we got to try to find a set of separators because uh, they're driven by a gear down in here, and they're. Uh, not they're not uh, riveted they're just tightly a part of this and they're loose and that happens because when these it's so brutal how it changes records that if you have a bad center hole they jam into the record instead of slicing above the top of the next record they slice into the record it stops it it jams and it makes these things become loose so we have to try to find a pair of these separators and okay that's it for now